Hey, what's up? You're in for a treat with this video. You'll see my nails go from this to this. All right, so this is what I'm starting with. As you can see, very close up. These are all the products that I use. This is a set of press-on nails. Probably got it from Walmart, I believe. Um, an emery board or nail filer. I have some alcohol wipes here. You only need one, really. And then I have my top coat and base coat that is specifically for UV um, lights. Then I have my UV light here that I bought from Amazon. I'm just showing you what comes in the package of the press on nails. It does come with its own emery board as well. So I'm using that now to file down my nails. As you can see, I did start with pretty short nails, but I just want to make sure it's all gone so that you don't see it up underneath the very long <laughs> press on nails. So I'm filing each of my nails as well as going over with the other side of the filer and buffing the nail beds themselves. So I do that for all 10 toes, <laughs> I mean nails, <laughs> do that for all 10 of my fingernails and make sure they're all smooth and I have a very smooth surface to start with. And that's where the alcohol wipe comes in. I'm just getting rid of all of that debris and whatnot that was on my nails and of course on video you saw me do my left hand but off camera i did my right as well so i'm just wiping off all the debris from filing and buffing my nails next you want to measure each of the press on nails to your nails is definitely not one size fits all but the good thing is that the press on nails do come numbered so um even my left hand may have different um numbers than my right hand so you just want to take the time to measure out each and every one now that i've done that i'm going to get the base coat first and then put on just one thin layer on the first nail that i'm doing which as you can see is my left thumb so after i do my thin layer of the base coat i'm going to put on the nail just place it lightly and loosely because it's not going to stick anyway and press firmly hold it onto it and turn on the uv lamp and have your nail sit up under there as you can see i did put it on for 30 seconds After it comes out, it is good to go. Like it's not going anywhere. I pushed it, shoved it, tapped it, and it's pretty um, strongly, sturdily on my nail. So I'm gonna show you just another one. I'm going to show you my index finger. Once again, just put one thin, smooth layer of the base coat, apply the press on nail that you've already measured and you make sure it fits onto your nail not showing any of your actual nail on the sides and then you just place it up under that lamp for the allotted time as you can see like i did for the first finger i put it in for 30 seconds So when I did the sturdiness test on this finger, as you can see, like the nail just fell off. Like it's not on there securely. Um, so I kind of just moved on because <laughs> the show must go on. I am going to come back, as you will see, and fix that uh, index finger. But once again, thin layer, press or place the nail onto my nail. Firmly grasp it firmly grasp it and then put it up under the uv light so yeah it was at this moment that i realized that from here on out i'm just going to be putting them under for 60 seconds um, because that index finger was not letting me be great whatsoever. So after 60 seconds, it was all good. Um, then I had to 
if you notice, reapply my middle finger and then just moving on to the rest of the hand. So um, from this point on, I am going to leave my nails under the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And that is something that I would recommend. I'm not sure what it depends on, but as you saw, my thumb was good for 30 seconds, but every other finger after that was not. All right, so boom, yeah, 60 seconds is the magic number. 60 is the magic number. And we're almost done with my left hand. So I figured I might as well just show you all five fingers because I wasn't sure what may or may not have happened with um, the rest of the hand. So I just wanted to show you, like, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like, I could have easily edited out the fact that my index finger <laughs> fell off. But I want to show you what's real. Like, look, this pinky is also giving me a hard time. So... <laughs> Just know that it ain't as easy. I mean, it is super, super easy, but you know, you may have to go over it a couple of times. All right, so my left hand is completely done and I'm just showing you that I also did my right hand using the exact same method. After I applied all 10 of the nails onto my nails, I went back over each of them with another thin layer of base coat, left it in the UV light for 30 seconds, and then went back over that with the top coat and left it in the UV light for 30 seconds. All of that footage for that process got deleted, unfortunately. But here is the finished product. I'm so excited and shocked because I've never done this before. So first time doing it. Saved so much money, so much time. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And watch this next video.